friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a very easy, 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 easy shabby chic transformation to some spindles that I just had. Um, I believe I picked these up at a yard sale probably many, many months ago and they have just been sitting in my stash of stuff that I want to repurpose. So quick tip, you guys can totally sand these down. I obviously am just painting over the red paint on these and that is quite all right because this paint is quite thick and you can do probably about one to two coats of it and it's really not going to matter. I kind of enjoy the fact that some of the red may kind of seep through, um, especially if you do decide to sand the paint after it has dried. Now this is where the fun, shabby chic part of this comes into play. Once those spindles are done, and as you can tell, they're not perfect, they don't need to be perfect. You guys know that's my motto, I, it never needs to be perfect, y'all, so. But what we're gonna do here is take some old ribbon that we have lying around, scraps of fabric. I have plenty of tea dyed fabric. Um, just in my stash as well as just random, you know, leftover bits of ribbon. I have this floral ribbon, um, anything at all that we can simply just tie around these spindles. Um, I'm only using two here because I have only a couple more left and I want to use them for a different project, but you can easily do three to four spindles, different size spindles, and then simply take these scraps of ribbon or fabric or whatever that you choose to use on this to wrap around and it's just going to make this really adorable uh, shabby chic bundle that you can add to your home decor. I am using a little bit of hot glue just to hold down uh, these pieces and really you guys that's <laughs> that is all this project is. It is as simple as painting some spindles and wrapping it in some really adorable fabric or ribbon and what have you. Um, so I'm just going to stop talking here so you can just watch as we just continue to add on to this and to see the outcome.
I do want to hop in here to say that this barrette actually came from Dollar Tree. Um, I do tend to look in their hair accessories because they do have a lot of little pearled uh, barrettes and hair clips and things like that um, that, you know, are, in my opinion, very easy and cute little additions to anything that you're doing that is considered shabby chic. So that is what I'm using here. I'm literally just taking off that back piece of it, just breaking it off. Again, it is it is from the Dollar Tree, so, uh, you know, it's easily uh, manipulated. <laughs> and uh, I'm just taking off those back portions, and then I'm going to glue it right on top. And I think it just adds to the um, decor piece just perfectly. And finishing it off, I am just going to take a couple little sprigs of florals that I have um, from another project. And these are just some very quaint little pink roses that I love and I think are great for any time of the year. And uh, we're just going to stick them on in there. So like I said, you guys, this was such a really, really simple addition to your shabby chic decor that I think everybody can do everybody can afford to do and it is just something that I absolutely love let me know what y'all think thank you so much for watching if you're new I hope you stick around hit that subscribe button hit that like button for me leave me a comment and until next time you guys stay safe